I think it's pretty good, but I'll let you see if it's pretty good and I'll show it to you now. This is the new project going on. That's right. It's just... Hello, welcome back. Back in the shed. Got a bit uh, stiffly nosed today. It's a bit cold and rainy like it has been for the past few weeks, but um, I'm down here today and we're actually not getting any more work done on this thing. Yeah, we are not getting any more work done on this uh, thing right here. I have been getting some work done though. I've been starting with the rust repairs underneath. It's been good. But today, as you can probably guess by the title, uh, there is an exciting new project going on. Not abandoning this one, still full pace on that one, but it's a quick little project, hopefully only for a few weeks, but it is a quick little flip project. Actually, it's pretty interesting. So it's just a, it's a full car, not cheap, sort of fix it up a bit, sell it, you know, a bit more. But it's to get a bit of money, so I can sort of get these things started, the engine over here, a few tools and a few big things for this, and mainly our 80 series chassis that we need for this. So got to get a bit of money going for it. So I thought I'd do a quick little flip, you know, hopefully a few weeks, not a whole lot to put into it, but it's easy, easier, easier said than done, basically. So I had to find something that was good, of anything rusted, you know, do engine stuff or anything like that. Um, and I had to obviously be pretty cheap because uh, Land Cruisers are quite expensive. Um, so what I got is, I think it's pretty good. Um, obviously, we'll have to see. So first, it I haven't ran it yet. It doesn't run. Um, it was advertised as it, it did run uh, about three years ago when it was parked up, but I haven't run it yet. So I'm going to get a battery, diesel, and prime it with oil and then start it up and see if it goes. It has a bit of rust in the roof part of it. Um, and you know, there are some old things like it's the seats are bad and blah, all that stuff, but there are a lot of good parts about it. And it came with a whole like extra motor basically. I think it's pretty good, but I'll let you see if it's pretty good and I'll show it to you now. This is the new project going on, which will hopefully make us a bit of money so we can get going on with uh, the main project. But here it is now, I'll show it to you. Just wait a second. That's right, it's a 60 series. So this is it here, as you can see. It's a 88, as you can see by these uh, dual headlights here. Doesn't have the roundies. Uh, HJ60, so it's got the diesel in it, 2H, which is good, I'll show you that in a second. But yes, it's, uh, it's actually in pretty good nick. It's got a few good things. Look, it's got these nice, uh, nice mirrors on. It's actually uh, pretty straight for a um, 60 series, you know? Like uh, if you can get a look at these doors here, they actually, uh, they're all pretty good. Um, not a lot of rust in the lower half. Um, you know, it's got a few things. These doors, oh, they actually open. How good's that, eh? Inside, it's uh, pretty good. A cool set of drawers that he built back here, the previous owner. Uh, it's got, you know, five wheels. I'd sort of call these slicks, actually. Wouldn't really call those wheels. Don't know if it ever hit the drag strip. Original side steps. He said the hubs had some problems with them. Uh, all the glass is all right in the doors. The window has some cracks in it. Might just get a new one of those. All this plastic up the front here. All this. All this is in really good condition, to be honest with you. There's no rust in the bonnet, apart from obviously that bit of surface stuff right up the front. Big snorkel. Paint on this side isn't too bad. If we come inside here, door opens up, nice and good. The inside is actually uh, not too bad. Roof liner's in really good condition. Really hoping I don't have to take it out because I'm horrible at putting them back in. If you've ever had to deal with them before, you understand they're not like a regular hard roof liner. Uh, big gash in the seat right here. You know, I can just get a new seat. The steering wheel's got a bit of, um, you know, cracking and stuff on it. The dash is the one part that is really bad. It's basically ripped up, but I'm sure I can find a new dash from somewhere. Got a tow ball. Uh, good selling point there, I guess. I'm gonna see if I can get a rear wheel carrier, because you can pick up a lot of parts pretty cheap for these 60 series. 
but where we start getting into it is our rust in the roof which every single 60 series has this one actually not quite as bad as i thought uh you know you've got all it all sort of up here you got your little sort of cracks all through there it all have to be cut and sandblasted underneath um it's usually these roof racks that do it to it this is actually i think that's used as a water tank should just need you know sheet metal and not really uh reproduction panels which is good everything else like all of this here it just seems like surface rust it's not really anything bad so it's all in the roof there which will actually be pretty easy uh to be honest with you but yeah a few rips in the uh floor it's a manual as you can see five speed i'll open up the bonnet there it is So here is our motor, a 2H. Ooh, let me, this is our motor down here, a 2H. Um, it's looking all right. Radiator seems pretty new. Uh, a lot of the stuff like uh, the um, injector pump actually looks really good. Got a spot for two batteries, one here. Yeah, but what I think is pretty cool is it has this uh, manifold here, which you can actually flip around, stick a CT26 turbo right on the top of it. Then it's just a simple crossover pipe all the way over. Boom, you got your turbo done. So I think I can do that for about $300, which I think is pretty good. Add a bit of value to it um, because, you know, pretty much going to be selling it to someone that actually wants a bit of power. Um, not really a collector or, you know, someone that wants an original. It's already too far gone. It's had a different motor in it because it has 500 and something thousand Ks on the body, but it has a different motor. This one's from a 75 series, I think. Don't really know if the motor is running. As I said, haven't run it yet. I'm sort of optimistic. You know, uh, it was a, he was a really nice guy, I bought it off. He just didn't have the space for time for it anymore. But yeah, I don't know if it'll be super hard to do all of this. Um, as far as suspension goes, I have no idea. I'll have to get it up on the hoist, but um, just, I'll strip all the underneath back and I'll give it a good uh, proper painting. What I've seen, it's not that bad. It's obviously on stock height, so I can't really see much under there. Um, I'll see if I can pick up a cheap two inch lift off uh, Marketplace somewhere. This brace in the front, drums in the back. Uh, I'll get new brakes because I think the brakes are all sort of done for but I can probably get away with doing the whole thing at minimum for about $3,000 maybe maybe even $2,000 honestly just depends how bad it all is because uh, I'll be doing all of the rust repairs myself I won't be able to spend any money on that now onto the interesting part the most interesting part is this front bumper when I first got it I thought ah oh, that's weird take it off I'm gonna get a bull bar for it because that's just me being a full drive bloke put a bull bar on it but um, when I got to looking quickly on marketplace I saw that they're actually quite rare and expensive so it turns out I'm still going to sell it but I've tried to see how much to sell it for because I don't really know there's one on marketplace that's really bad dented scratched it's about $700 and then I saw a brand new one for $1,300 so I chucked it up on Marketplace for about $1,000 because I thought it was right in the middle. Um, I don't really know. I'll probably uh, go for a bit less. Doesn't seem like it should be worth that much at $800, but that's pretty good because you can pick up bull bars nice and cheap for these things. What else is pretty good is I have a set of original chrome dish rims from an 80 series my 80 series when i first got it they're 15 inch they're sort of the dish rims go absolutely lovely on this because 60 series people really love those rims i've seen so many of them i'll see if i can get some flares as well that's gonna be expensive part they're about 600 dollars for some flares but i think might add quite a bit of value on them because not many of these 60 series have flares they don't need them you can definitely fit though these are 31s i think fit those into the guards like they're not poking out at all apart from that uh oh yeah also i got this he gave me this um roof rack here it's like one of those flat racks with a little bit at the front and all the mounts for it it was for an 80 series but um it'll go up the top here real nice it'll definitely <laughs> once you remove that uh all that uh, crap that's going on at the top and put that on there it'll be really nice someone ever wants to put a uh, rooftop tent or anything on it anything like that hasn't been well i mean look it hasn't been taken off road it's really a been a tourer for him which is great but i won't say how much i did pay for it or how much i'm paying for the stuff that i'm getting i'll do that all at the end you guys can guess see if you can uh, see how much i actually paid for it based on what it is um it's really surprised from the ads like i was thinking oh yeah 
you know, this thing's pretty bad. I was gonna go get one the week before, but it actually sold. And now that I see it, this one's much better. It got a lot more original stuff in this one. I'll do that right at the end. I'll make one, once I sell it, I'll do a video of the whole uh, breakdown of how much everything costs. Here is the very, very, very cool part about this. Apart from the fact that it's just old and cool, I mean, look at this. Look at this bench seat. Look at this old, look at this. Look at all this. What I love even more is what I found inside. Get a look at all this. Look at that. Look at that. You know what that is? The original owner's manual from 1988. Look at that. Still got everything in there. Free card in there. Uh, delivery date 120388. How cool is that? Stuff. Oh, yeah, got a maintenance record here. First one was in um, 11th of the 3rd, 88. And there, 89, they did the 40,000. It goes all the way down to 1990 when they did the 60,000 one. How good is that? This is Sunday, currently, when I'm recording this. So, next week, I'm going to jump right in and see just how much I can do. I'm hoping I'll go out and I'll get oils and, you know, that stuff, and I'll see if I can actually start it up straight away, drive it into the fire bay here and get it up on the hoist, uh, see what we can find underneath. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can see what I'll do next week. Um, so I will see you tomorrow, I guess, Monday, first day of the week. Right, yeah, see you then. Okay, so it is uh, Monday today, um, start of the week, and a bit of a change of plans. Uh, it is pretty rainy. Well, it's not really rainy right now, but it has been, you know, pretty much bucketing down today. So I was going to first try and actually uh, get it uh, ready to be run, but um, I think I'm going to pull it inside now. Have it in this middle bay, because I've got three bays. I think I'll just drag it in here, start it up, and then do a bit more work on it there. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and pull it in now inside, just hopefully get a bit of work on it to get it actually um, into it to a point where I can start running. Got it. Pop out here. Bit of a mess out here at the moment. Took the cab off the frame. Trying to sell the frame. Um, what we're going to do is get the excavator in here, put a line all the way across onto there and pull it in. I've got to move all this stuff on this table here and this gearbox that I've now seen in the V8. So uh, go do that first. All right, got the phone cam going um, out here in the rain, as you can see. Uh, I've just moved the frame over. Bigger hook up. Got the frame back there. Um, now I'm just trying to get this gearbox out. Um, trying to get the crane on it so I can pull it out and hopefully put it somewhere out here. Just moved the transmission a little bit. We got a lot of uh, oil on the ground because I didn't really strap it up properly. And as soon as I picked it up, it just flipped over. But I've got it hooked up to the excavator, so now I can lift it out and put it wherever I need to. Don't know where that's gonna be, but I'll figure that out in a second. The uh, stuff cleaned up, got the bulk of it cleaned up. Now I'm just gonna hook a strap down here over to the uh, digger and uh, get it pulled in. Sorry, the digger's still on, it's a bit loud. Uh, just checked around the back to see if it is uh, fit in and as you can see there, that door will close nicely. I can open the doors if I need to open the back doors, but it's mainly just so I can get in to here to uh, get uh, some engine work done. So now I can close that, shut this down, and then get in here and see what we need to do. Settled into the spot here. Hopefully it won't be here for too long. But you never know with these things, do you? 
I'm going to go get a battery from somewhere and then I'm going to go out and I'll buy some oil. Um, I should have got that little cap around here. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of water in there. I'll chuck some demineralized water in there, maybe some uh, corrosion inhibitor. Um, and I've got a jerry can of diesel. So I will see what we can do with that. Anyway, that's gonna do it for the first episode here of this good 60 series project we got going on. How much, hopefully, if we can make some money off it, I'm, I'm sure we can, but um, it'll be good to see how much we can. But the next episode, I will hopefully be starting this thing, then getting on to whatever I can. Start with cleaning a few things up here in this engine bay. And uh, I guess now that we've got it in the middle bay, might, uh, start looking at the rust we've got up the top and also everything on the inside. I guess now I'll leave the uh, underbody to last. Uh, I can take it out and put it in the bay up there and then I get underneath painted and everything. But that will be in episodes to come. But for now, I'll see you on the next one.